One of the questions I'm often asked is in regards to the wiring to the thermostat. And the question I'm often asked is, can I check for low voltage wiring or voltage using my multimeter? And the answer is, yes, you can. I'm going to set your thermostat to volts AC, that's alternating current. That's going to be able for you to check your voltage coming out of your outlets, out of your breaker, out of your transformer, and here out of our wires. When you look at volts DC, that's going to be for direct current, and that'll be more for like your batteries, 9 volt, AA, etc. Here we just want to check the voltage going to each terminal. If you look at my wiring video that I have posted on my channel, you'll see here, this is our red. This is our uh, voltage 24 volts coming down to the thermostat. Now we can easily check this by going from our red to our green. Our green is going to be our blower motor. So you can see here I have 26.9 volts. The voltage can read anywhere from 24 to 28 volts. So I do know that this thermostat right now is uh, sending power for the blower motor to turn on. So here I have my red and my green. Now we're going to check our white. Our white's going to be our heat. So you can see here when I tap the terminals, right now I have 26 0.9 volts Now we're going to check the voltage coming to our uh, AC or our condensing unit and here we can see when we touch our terminals 26.9 as well, so you can check the voltage off of your thermostat if you have your multimeters as I stated before you want to be within 24 to 28 volts if for some reason you're not getting a voltage reading you can see here I'm getting a reading of zero. There can be many reasons why that's happening. If you have a furnace board, you may have a faulty furnace board. It may be that your breaker's tripped. If you find that you're going to each terminal, you have your 24 volt coming in and you're taking that lead and you're testing each one. So here I have zero. Here, I moved it over. I have zero. Here, I moved it over. I have zero, and the problem is going to be my incoming 24 volts, and we have to diagnose and see what is stopping the voltage coming to my thermostat. Hopefully this video kind of helped you familiarize yourself with a thermostat, the wiring, and how to do some basic troubleshooting. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.